Kenneth Johnson with today's knockout with Dominic Brazil. Dominic, how talk about being on this big stage. You're gonna be on national TV on Saturday. You know, it's huge, man. I'm glad, I'm glad to be back. PBC is doing some great things. NBC is doing some great things. You know, uh, you know, it's phenomenal. You know, it's things you dream about as a kid. You know, things you you, you grow up in the boxing program trying to trying to achieve. So uh, I'm glad to be on a huge stage like this. How, how big is it to not only win but win and get your name out there so people like know who you are nationwide? You know, a win in a small town is great. A win in a huge town is great. A win on national television like this is world-renowned. Uh, couldn't ask for anything better. You know, it's one of those situations that, uh, you know, like I said, you dream about. Uh, you know, to get the big win is one thing. To go the distance and get the decision is one. I'm looking for the knockout come Saturday night. How's seeing somebody like Deontay, what he's doing, and putting uh, the American heavyweight back on the limelight, how does that inspire somebody like yourself that's trying to do the same thing? You know, it's great inspiration, man. i got to give Deontay credit for having the WC belt, you know, defending it now. Um, you know, it's phenomenal. Everybody keeps asking me if I like the roadmap and, take, and, I, and I tell them no because I'm trying to design my own roadmap. I'm trying to do my own things. Um, I'm my own Olympian. He's a 22, a 2008 Olympian. I'm a 2012 Olympian. And, you know, we're two different people, two different individuals. Eventually, I know him and I are going to be fighting for the same belt. Speak, so speaking of your Olympic team, since so y'all slowly but surely trying to turn, turn the tide, like um, you were a teammate of Earl Spence, and he's putting um, that um, – that, that Olympic team on the, on the national map. How does it feel that y'all are doing something as professionals? Oh, man, you know, the whole Olympic team is doing great. Earl just had a, a great big win here in Canada not too long ago. Um, you know, Terrell's doing some good things. There's a lot of guys out there doing a ton of phenomenal things, and I'm just glad to be part of that 2012 U.S. Olympic team, you know. Taking it one fight at a time and getting knockout after knockout, that's all I'm looking for. For somebody that hasn't seen you fight, what's your style and what do you bring to the table? You know, an aggressive boxing slugger type guy. You know, I'm, I'm always looking for that big punch. Um, you know, not necessarily hunting for it, but it, it comes. And when I do land it, you know, it lights go out. And uh, what's something you, you want to improve on and show that this fight that you didn't show at your last out that you've been working on in the gym? Last couple outings, man, I got hit with some shots that I wasn't expecting to get hit with. You know, especially being a bigger guy. So defensively, we've been a lot more sound in this camp. Um, you know, working the jab a lot. So if I can come out and have a good established jab and make my guy uh, miss some punches and make him pay for it, it'd be great. Of course, you want to win the fight, but do you, are you cool fighting a technical fight and getting the W, or do you want to have that crowd pleasing, kind of like that Mexican style fight, like that's me, like, man. The, like that Santa Cruz Mares type stuff? Yeah, that's me, man. It's the only way to do it. I'm 15 and 0, 14 KOs. I'm going for the 15 KO for the 16th win. Um, you know, that's what I'm always looking for. You know, I'm, I'm never wanting to go the distance. You know, nobody ever wants to come to a boxing event and watch two heavyweights go the distance. They want to see somebody get hurt, so that's what I'm looking for.